In this Adobe After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you how to stabilize and track motion of an object in your video. So I'm working with this clip of a person kicking a soccer ball. This is going to highly depend clip to clip if it's going to work easy or be hard. In this case, we do have some difficulty. There's uh, It starts up up close and then you have these uh, his foot going in it and you also have the cones that kind of get in the way sometimes. So I'll show you how to work around the little difficulties like that as well, because this is not the perfect clip, but we're still going to make it work. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to the beginning of my clip and on the right hand side, I'm going to open up the tracker panel. If you don't see this panel, you can go to window tracker. Now I want to highlight my clip. So I just had a clip open in a composition and I'm going to click stabilize motion in the tracker panel. This is going to bring up a track point for us to tell After Effects what to try to track. So there's two different bounding boxes here. You can drag the outer box and the inner box, and then you can drag them over to where you want. In this case, trying to track the whole soccer ball like this will take very long because the larger this box is, the longer it's going to take After Effects to process it. So what I'm going to do instead is just give After Effects this good point of contrast between the edge of the ball and the, the, the light grass or whatever is behind it. This should give After Effects a good amount of confidence on what to track for. And I can make the bounding box of where to look a little bit closer. So now this won't take that long. Now there is another option you have if you go to options. You can tell After Effects if the confidence is below a certain amount to stop tracking, like especially when the cone or his foot gets in front of it, you might have a chance to fix it by hand. I'll leave it off for now and I'll show you other ways to do that as well. So now that we have our tracking point set, what you can do is you can press play, but just to show you, if you analyze one frame forward, with this analyze one frame button, it'll analyze one frame. And you can literally do that over and over. And if you do have a really tricky spot, this is where you can go in on a certain frame if it loses and you can slightly readjust things. Now, if you're pretty confident, you just wanna let After Effects do its thing, it'll be hard to go frame by frame. You can just press play, After Effects will just go and you can kind of watch it. If it happens to get completely thrown off, that's when you can stop and go in there and fix if you didn't do that auto adapt feature. So you can see in real time, it's tracking, it's going pretty smoothly. This is going to depend on how big your track point is, the how powerful your computer is. Now you're seeing right here, we've lost the track point. Uh, this orange cone got in the way and it kind of messed things up. Now, if I drop down my clip, open up the motion trackers, you'll see that it's been creating these keyframes for every single frame. A really useful tool in After Effects is the page down and page up tools. These let you move frame by frame, or you can just drag your cursor frame by frame. So we wanna to go to the last frame where we had the ball confidently tracked. So something like right here. I'm gonna just delete everything that happened after that. So highlight them and press delete. And just for these few frames where the the cone is in the way. I'm just going to adjust the tracking point by hand. So I'm gonna move over frame by frame. We're just gonna leave it where the ball should be behind that cone. Now you wanna make sure you're not moving these points around because you can accidentally mess up your points and those are changing the actual keyframes. So remember you can press Command Z or Edit Undo anytime you do that. But I'm just going to get to the point where our ball is kind of back in play and from here you can press play again and let After Effects continue doing its thing. And you see we got over that little hiccup right there. So you can see this highly depends on the clip you have. Something like this is a good example because it isn't perfect but we still made it work and now that we have basically the whole thing keyframed out frame by frame what I want to do is press apply. So if I press apply it'll apply that position keyframe to the to the clip and now you'll see it'll track the ball based on those keyframes you want to play it back and make sure you got a smooth track 
And you see it's just moving the position so that the ball's in the middle. Now, there are some frames, I think, where we got a little bit of jitter just because the tracking points weren't perfect. In that case, if you lower down the transform section, so it applied this to the anchor point. You see, we have all these keyframes. You still have the ability, if there was for some reason, some jitter that you didn't like, to go in there and delete individual keyframes or adjust individual keyframes by hand. So if you have some really crazy off frames, like here's one, it just jumps a bit too far. I can delete that one and save the day, basically. Here's another one. It just kind of jumped a bit too far. Just delete those couple mess up frames and we've got this smooth clip. Now, what do we do about the black bars that have occurred? Of course, we're moving the position around the anchor point. So we're, we're gonna have to crop to solve this. We can simply just scale in and adjust the position so that if I zoom out here, let's go out. You can see this white bounding box. We want to make it to the point where this is always filled in. So I'm just going to adjust the scale and the position. And you can also keep in mind here a good position to try to have it. Um, in my case, I want to kind of keep the ball in the middle of the frame and near the, near the ground. Just want to make it big enough in scale so that you never crop out in a way that you don't want. And this is kind of like what Warp Stabilizer does automatically. But now if I play that back, we have a cool stabilized in the middle clip and it tracks the ball. It's really cool. So if you enjoyed this tutorial, you can check out other After Effects tutorials. I have more on tracking in the playlist on my channel and subscribe to stay tuned for all of my new videos. You can go follow me on Instagram at Justin Odisho if you want to reach out to me, show me what you made with this. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Justin Odisho, and I'll see you in the next video.